Alright guys, this is part two of my uh, 22 long rifle roundup comparison here. I'm going to show you uh, some targets I've collected over the last, I don't know, a uh, couple months. And uh, show you some of the, the, the groupings that I've been able to do with the uh, Taylor Ruger 1022. Uh, first off, we're going to start at the 100 uh, or at the 50 yard line and we'll show you what, what we can expect. Um, if you can see this group right here, let me let me actually zoom in just a tiny bit here so I can get a little bit closer for you. Um, move those off. Okay. The uh, this is uh, a group here with the velocitors, CCI velocitors from the Taylor Ruger at 50 yards, and this is a just under um, one inch group right there. Here we have one that's kind of has a little bit of horizontal stringing. If I remember correctly, because I was sighting in my scope. At the same time with these, this was the, with the new, um, the new uh, Diamondback from Vortex scope. There was a little bit of breezing, and so at 50 yards, I had a little bit of horizontal stringing with the with this group here. And so, but that's still a one-inch group, okay, at 50 yards with that uh, CCI velocitors. Um, here we've got a group with the, uh, let's see, this stuff here. This is the American Eagle 36 grain. And that's, you know, about about an inch and a half, probably, give or take a little bit. So, okay, okay, group, at at 50 yards. That's definitely, you know, a mouse size group at 50 yards here. So, uh, that's, the, and that's just a sight in. I was, I was dialing over and then I dialed down a bit. So, for that, because I wanted to, to shoot high, so I would be right on at 100 um, at 50 yards. So, that's why this group is here and not here. Okay, so there is a 50 yard line. Here is another group with that federal, uh, or this is actually a group with the federal champion. This is the, the Walmart ammunition, okay? You can see that it's a 1.75 inch group at uh, 50 yards. So it's okay, it's not, not horrible, uh, but definitely not, not great either. So there we are, okay? And I'm not sure what these are, so forget about them. Forget about it. Okay, let's see. Now we've got, um, okay, this is some more 50 yard shooting. Here's with the uh, CCI Blazer. Okay, look at that. 1.375 inch group at 50 yards with that 40 grain uh, lead round nose. And that is the, the Blazer 22 ammo. Really, really good. So I would say for plinking ammo, that's, that's great. Definitely. So if you discount the, and this is discounted this flyer, by the way, this little group here. Discounting that flyer would be 1.375. Okay, um, here's the Remington Yellow Jackets. Now, um, I think I, I put Gusty here on, on the target, uh, so I'm not sure, but I guess if I thought that was Gusty, then that might, that might show the reason why I've got these flyers out here. But discounting these flyers, it was a one and a quarter inch group, so not too bad with the with the uh, Remington Yellow Jackets. And again, this is with the Taylor Ruger 1022 so with the match grade barrel. Um, here is uh, your CCI mini mags, okay, guys. This is why the CCI mini mag is as popular as it is. Whoops, let's see. Because of that group right there, okay. 0.875 at 50 yards. Really, really, really good group, okay. Here is the Federal High Point round nose, uh, 1.375 inches, okay? That's why I like this Federal High Power. And I wish I had more, um, more boxes of this. I, this is uh, one of three boxes I have left of this ammo, and I really, really like it. For, for cheap plinking am ammunition, it's a really good ammunition. Okay, here, uh, here is another group. Uh, this is with the CCI Stinger. And this is a 1.375 inch group as well. So really not bad, not bad at all. The stingers are actually fairly accurate. I, I'm, I'm surprised. But you know, if, if uh, you're shooting the stinger long range out to 200 yards, it loses quite a bit of accuracy. Part of that is because when it goes from, this, from the supersonic to the subsonic and you cross through the sonic barrier, the buffeting that occurs um, really affects that really lightweight bullet, which is a 32 grain bullet. So that 32 grain bullet um, is affected a lot and it really tends to throw off your groups a lot with the CCI Stinger. So that's part of the reason why I don't shoot the CCI Stinger out to long range, okay? Now again, this is, this is I shot the Stinger through the, uh, the 1022, the Taylor 1022, and that's a match grade barrel. You shouldn't really do that. 
Um, I don't know if it will actually damage the barrel or not, um, or damage the chamber or damage the riflings, but I did. I shot. Um, I shot 20 rounds through it. So anyway, that's one of the groups there. Okay, here is the here is the last 50 yard target, and here you see the Wildcats 1.5 inch group, which is actually a pretty good group for those Wildcats. Um, here you see the CCI Velocitor. Okay, and this is a 1.18 inch group at 50 yards. Here we fire the Federal Bulk Pack. Now this is this right here is the worst performing ammunition in this group that we've done, and that's a three inch group with the uh, Federal Bulk Pack. That's with this stuff here. Okay, I want to say. Wait a minute. I want to say. Yeah, this is uh, this is the Federal Champion as well, right here. That's the Federal Bulk Pack as well. That 1.75 inch group at 50 yards, and here's another one, a three inch group. So not that great. Okay. Um, oh, and there's a, there's another American Eagle group, that American Eagle ammunition, which is this stuff right here, 1.125 or 1.1.25 rather. Okay, so that's 50 yards with the Taylor Ruger. Now let's go out to um, let's go out to 100. Okay. Now this group, this this group of targets here, this um, these paper targets here are. This is kind of um, was kind of a bad day. It was really gusty. Uh, the the mirage was absolutely horrible that day, and this was all shot at 100 yards. And so um, this is not the best. These are not the best targets that this gun can do. But I want to show you. So this is this Federal Auto Match stuff here. And you can see that the grouping is, let's see, one, two, three, four, let's see, one, two, three, about three to four inch groups. Really, really disappointed with this Federal Auto Match. I think I've got another one here. This is a little bit better group with the Federal Auto Match, but we still had that flyer. Uh, we have a couple flyers here, actually. Um, so not really the best group. This was probably the best group that we shot with that Federal Auto Match. Um, so okay ammo, more accurate by far than the uh, Federal Champion, but also more expensive. So a different kind of ammo too. Now the next one here is, this is the, the gold medal, okay? This is that gold medal target ammo. And that's the stuff that you spend about five bucks per 50 on. This stuff is actually, like I said, probably the best bang for your buck um, ammo that you'll shoot. Let me get another, let me see, I thought I had a, a second target of that, but I guess not. But that is the Federal Gold Match uh, Gold Medal, or Gold Medal Target. Okay, not match ammo, it's not the Federal Gold Match, it's a Federal Gold Target. Really, really, really good ammo for your, for, uh, good bang for your buck. That's a sub two inch group there, so really good at 100 yards. And, uh, okay, here we have the CCI uh, pistol match. Okay, that's this stuff here, and that's a that's a sub two inch group. Well, actually, that's about a two inch group there. So not too bad, not too bad. Here is the Ely. Okay, that's the Ely Remington uh, Remington target rifle. Really good group as well. That's a, again, this is at a hundred yards. Okay, on a really crappy day. Here is another Ely group. Okay, opened up with a little bit of a flyer there, but uh, if you discount the flyer, you've got a you've got a sub two inch group. Here's another CCI pistol uh, group there. Not bad, not bad at all at 100 yards. Okay, and that's with the Taylor Ruger 1022. Okay, let's go get those aside. All right, let's go to some some more 100 yard targets. Okay, here is a uh, CCI Velocitor. Okay, you can see that that's about a two inch group at 100 yards. Okay. Here's a CCI Velocitor, a little bit tighter group, maybe about an inch and a half at 200. Not bad, or, or not inch and a half at 100 yards rather, 100 yards. That's a CCI Velocitor, really good ammo, ammunition, my favorite stuff. Okay, um, okay, let's see. Um, actually, let me show you. Let me show you this. Here is. Uh, Here's a here's a three inch group with mini mags at this is a, this is again this is at a hundred yards so that's a three inch group with mini mags at a hundred yards here's a two point five inch group with uh, with stingers sorry I got some chalupa juice on the uh, the uh, target there but that's a two point five inch group there at a uh, hundred yards here's a one point one two five inch group at a hundred yards with the CCI Velocitor how about that. 
And these are these are kind of just um, I just kind of fired these ones. These ones are discounted here. But look at that group. Isn't that crazy? 1.125 at 100 yards with the CCI Velocitor. Here's one for 275 with the CCI Velocitor. Here's a 2-inch group with the CCI Velocitors at 100 yards. Not bad. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's some more Velocitor stuff. Oh, wait. No, that's a... Uh, yeah. Okay, here's some more Velocitor. There's another group of the Velocitors. And no, I don't know what the, the measurement on that is. Probably 2-inch group. A little over 2-inch on that one. Here is the standard velocity. Look at that standard velocity stuff. That's uh, that's this stuff here. That's the CCI standard velocity, 12, uh, 1,070 feet per second. Okay? Pretty cool, huh? That's that standard velocity. That's actually pretty good stuff. Here's another one with standard velocity. I don't know why that one opened up as much. <coughs> but that was another standard velocity group. And that's, you know, probably about 4 inch. Well, let's, you know what, let me measure that real quick. Because I don't want to do the standard velocity injustice by guesstimating that. Um, we're about, let's see, we're about a four inch, four inch group right there. So that's about a four inch group at a hundred yards. Um, this one up top here is another Velocitor um, group there. Look at this, guys. This is the gold medal match. In fact, if you go back to my See the Bullet video, um, shooting the 1022 at 100 yards, this is the group I shot on camera right here, is that federal gold medal. I did have a, a weird flyer with that ammunition, but look at that group, okay? That is this stuff here, okay? That's a great ammunition for the money, man. Great ammunition for the money. Here is the Ely. Look how tight that is. That's the Ely target ammo at 100 yards. Cool stuff expensive <laughs> and here's another tight pattern with the pistol match at 100 yards you can tell where you're seeing where the money is being spent with those with those uh, targets there and it'll consistently shoot that too by the way it's not something that um, that you're you're just uh, it's not something um, inconsistent okay look at this this is another standard velocity at 100 yards so discount that flyer, and you've got about a one in, one and a quarter inch group at 100 yards with that. So discount that flyer, you got about a one and a quarter inch group. Um, here's some standard velocities. Um, these belong to that, so those are discounted flyers. But look at that group there. So if you open that up, that's about a th that's about a two and a half inch, maybe three inch group, 275. Um, if you include the the flyers, uh, I don't know where that one. I don't know what that is, but uh, I do know that this one here. Um, you know, I don't know what that one is either, actually. I don't know what any of that is. But I do know that that is also a standard velocity. That's another standard velocity group. And that was aiming at this dot right here. So I was aiming at the center of this, this square here and hitting a little bit low at 100 yards. But that's because it's a, a, a slower bullet. Okay. So there's that. Um, okay. This is the last 100-yard target that I shot. This is a 1.6-inch group with velocitors. This is, these are all Velocitors, uh, I believe. Yeah, I think so. This is a rapid fire Velocitor group. Okay, so I was firing like, so it was a little bit semi rapid fire. I would consider rapid fire at 100 yards. So that's why that was open. 1.75 inch group. Oh, this is with the American Eagle. That's uh, with this stuff here. That's a three inch group at 100 yards. Not bad, not bad at all for cheap, cheap. I think this is two bucks at my local grocery store. <laughs> two dollar am ammunition, three inch groups at 100 yards, not bad. Three inch group at 100 yards, uh, that's Velocitors. Um, discounting the flyers, okay, it's a 1.5 inch group, okay, right here. Uh, adding the flyers in, it's a 2.5 inch group with the Velocitors as well. Okay, now let's get on to the more challenging stuff. Let me roll in the uh, 200 yard targets here, okay? So we're going now from 100 yards to 200 yards, and this is what we're getting with the Velocitor, okay? And that's, again, with this ammunition, the Velocitor. This is a six and a quarter inch group, okay, right here. This little round down here belongs to this inch, this group up here, and I don't know why that dropped, but, you know, I have seen that on camera, in fact, um, with my last 400 yard shooting video, and I'll link that one down below as well. That one, um, you could actually see when I was shooting the gong at 300 yards, 
we had one that just was kind of a squib load, and you could actually see it drop in front of the gong. So it it hit like at 300 yards, it hit almost like two feet low. So that might be what's happening here. So we're getting a little bit of inconsistency with the CCI Velocitor. I don't even know if I showed you guys that that bullet in the last video. There's the CCI Velocitor. That's the mini gold dot is what they call it. Mini gold dot there. Okay. So that's a six and a quarter inch or six and a quarter inch group. Here's another six and a quarter inch group right at 200 yards. Believe it or not, they measure exactly the same. Pretty cool, huh? So at 200 yards, we're getting a six and a quarter inch group with the Taylor Ruger 1022. <laughs> Guys, I I am thrilled, okay, to be able to shoot out that far, to shoot out 200 yards and hit a six inch group. Now, if you put a rock, if you superimpose a rock chuck, okay around that you're gonna nail it you're gonna be I'm gonna be bullseyeing rock chucks at 200 yards with this gun easily okay so definitely really 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 happy with the performance of the Taylor Ruger 1022 now the Taylor Ruger 1022 is also the same kind of gun as the uh, Ruger Target Tactical okay so the Ruger Target Tactical just has a different stock on it alright so there's uh, two groups at 200 yards 6 6.25 inches Okay, here's another couple groups at 200 yards. This is um, testing the gold medal match. Okay, so that is this stuff. Okay, so the gold medal match is this group right here. If you discount this flyer up top here, we've got about a three inch group right there at 200 yards. Okay, that's amazing. Okay, that's amazing. Now here is a Velocitor. Okay, this is a Velocitor group here. Now discount that flyer up there and you've got about a four or five inch uh, group right here. Okay, this is the Ely, the Ely uh, target. Okay, that's this stuff here, and that's this group right here. Look at that, guys. At at uh, at 200 yards, I can almost hold my fist over it. So we're looking at maybe the the majority discounting this flyer up here about a about a three and a half inch group at 200 yards. Okay, here's another Velocitor group right there. Okay, we're looking about about five five inches or so there. Okay, now that's the 200 yard targets. Let's move in and show you the 300 yard targets. Okay, now I've only shot and did one 300 yard group. Okay, with the Taylor Ruger 1022, and my calculations. I was new to the calculations. I was still trying to determine what my muzzle velocity on the rifle was and I discounted it a little bit too much and so I ended up um, doing one half click or a one click too high so I did one MOA too much on the scope and the result was I shot a 10 a 10 uh, a 10 shot group and four of the shots wound up up above the target so I ended, only ended up with six rounds on target now this is 300 yards with the Taylor, the Taylor Ruger 1022 VLE, and I got a 10 and a quarter inch group. In fact, that it's really more of a 10 inch group with just these with between this round and this round. Because if you minus off the the uh, diameter of the bullet, which I didn't do, it's 10 inches. So I'm able to shoot 10 inch groups at 300 yards with this with this gun. Um, not sure exactly what the other four rounds did up here, but just with this data which is incomplete, I can say that this is a 10 inch group at 300 yards with this gun. So, guys, I'm really, really happy with it. Um, I totally recommend that you check out the the, the Ruger Target Tactical or or, or the Taylor Ruger 1022 VLE. Uh, they are phenomenal rifles, and this is why I like this Velocitor so much, is it can give me pretty consistent groups um, at at uh, longer range okay all right guys so this has been kind of a show and tell of uh, kind of a just a, a little show and tell of these different ammunitions but also at the same time it's a uh, kind of a accuracy review of the uh, 10 the, the Taylor Ruger 1022 VLE okay so anyway guys hope you found that interesting uh, don't forget to uh, rate and comment and please subscribe for more reviews to come. And uh, thanks, guys, for watching, and we will talk to you guys later. See ya.